this is Shana. Spicy content creating. She fell in love with Ricky. But she has multiple other boyfriends. There's no fucking way I would do this even if they gave me a million Jewish shekels. Like, no bro, I'm not fucking doing it bro. I'm not gonna be strapped to a chair, alright, and become the next fucking idubs. <laughs> I never get pussy! Oh, but yeah bro, there would be no amount of Jewish shekels on the fucking planet. They could make me actually do this shit. There's just, there's just no fucking way. Which has tested their relationship. Ah, oh, testing their relationship. It's almost as if she's dating other guys. I would be spending too much time messaging my online boyfriends. I was pretty unsure about it. Yeah, there's maybe a fucking reason why you should be unsure about it, but... You look like I dubs with short hair, so uh, it kind of matches your description almost perfectly. And we end up having a little bit of a fight about it. A few of my friends calling her a few nasty names, telling me not to date her and trust her. Oh uh, yeah, you know what I fucking call that? Good fucking friends, bro. Like, bro, they're only looking out for you and your fucking mental health, and you're like, uh, no, fuck you, buddy, I'm gonna date the whore that's using me and dating other guys because... Uh, reasons? Online, the comments are brutal about their unusual setup. People, like, they feel sorry for my partner. She's a <laughs> <laughs> With a laugh like that, I can guess that he has a lot of skeletons in his closet. Like, he's just waiting to say, well, fuck you, bitch, I'm leaving, but... He continues to be with her and uh, cast out his friends. You just sound like an asshole, and it sounds like you don't know what you want. But hey, who the fuck am I to know? Because I'm not Ricky, alright? I'm Calvin. Uh, but I don't think you need a brain to know that this is, uh, just kind of fucked up. My online boyfriends have helped purchase these as well. Back when I was a dental assistant, I was only earning $800 a week. Let's just say I earn a lot more than that now. <laughs> and I know what people are gonna say, oh, but the boyfriend actually has her. The online boyfriends doesn't. But it doesn't really work that way considering the fact that she's intentionally using weak men as a way to exploit them for cash. Like that's basically the entire business model of OnlyFans. And uh, her boyfriend isn't exactly that different. It's just that he falls for it and he is in love with her, which... I mean, bro, it's 2024, people can be stupid if they want, but me personally, bro, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd have to cancel every- No, bro, I'm cancelling the wedding, I'm cancelling the fucking whatever the fuck, and I'm getting a fucking divorce. I might even get a pre-divorce, I'ma invent that shit. Just so that it hurts her just a little bit more. Spicy content creating. We make six digits a month. The most that we have made in one month is $220,000. How do you think it'll look? Yeah, hot. I'm just getting- Uh, yeah, bro, because that's the sound of a man who's really in a happy relationship and gets all the pussy, bro. He's definitely the pussy destroyer, bro. Ready to film some content for my online boyfriends. It's actually insane that women that say that, it, like, it, it isn't even fucking insane anymore. Like, the concept of online boyfriends, like, 10 years ago would have been looked at it as, like, the, 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 what the, the fuck, why are you, what, what are you doing? But no, bro, it's completely normal now, bro. It's 2024, man. And Ricky, what's your role in all this? Me? Hey, I'm the photographer. Uh, yeah, nah, I'm fucking good, bro. I would rather get a job in North Korea, and then if I fucking make less than one dollar that day, I would just get my nuts chopped. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Right now, we're just setting up to take some photos of Shana. It's actually kind of fucking hilarious how he doesn't even call her my girlfriend. He just says... Uh, we're gonna be taking photos of, uh, Sharna. I guess these men have trouble with dating on the outside world and maybe they feel a little bit nervous actually going out and having to talk and go to dates with women. Uh, yeah, which is why, believe it or not, that's why it's a fucking issue, right? Because these men cannot talk to normal women and if they grew up, alright, watching your very content, Oh, they're never gonna have a fucking girlfriend. So yeah, that's the fucking whole point why it's an issue and why people look at you like you're fucking stupid. Especially your uh, boyfriend there. 
And like, I know like I meme around and I joke in like my videos, but this is some like real shit, right? Like people do get addicted to this stuff and then they eventually become like a social outcast where they just seem like a loser to everybody in society. Which sucks because, uh, well, it's because of this content that, uh, they're like that. Look good here, like with the lighting and stuff. Yeah, good choice. All right, I'm gonna go get changed. Let's make some content. Sounds good. Some of the arrangements that I have with the online dating is the weekly calls with the boyfriends that I have, sending them like daily voice notes, daily messages and photos as well of what I'm doing throughout the day. I am just about to go on my online date. He's one of my regulars, so I'm just doing the final touches to make sure that I look all good. Hey, I just put on this. <laughs> He's just like in the back, furiously getting his fucking Doritos and getting the fuck out of there. Like she's texting and fucking voicing and voice calling another man, I'm, you know, I'm gonna get a pack of Doritos and shove them up my ass. Little back dress for you. I hope you like it. I can't wait to chat with you soon. 10 minutes would be about a thousand dollars and then it would go up in price the longer that I stay. There is literally no fucking way that somebody's actually paying a thousand fucking dollars just to talk to her for like 10 minutes. Like if I literally go to the store, okay, grab a Red Bull, I will probably find 10 people who look exactly like her. Online. I try not to do it for too long because I have plenty of boyfriends on there that I need to attend to. Where I draw the line would be when they try and ask me to meet up in real life. I obviously don't offer that service. I obviously do not offer that service, acting like you're fucking GameStop. So at the start when um, the whole girlfriend experience come on, I was pretty unsure about it and we end up having a little bit of a fight about it and we sat down and spoke it out and she gave me a bit of reassurance and I became a bit more comfortable with it. Okay, so let me get this straight. You were not okay with it at first, but she gave you reassurance? What fucking reassurance did she give you? That the, the fact that she wouldn't sleep with these guys? She's still talking sexually to these guys. She's still texting and voice calling these guys. I mean, bro, what? I don't even have the energy to even, like, say what the actual fuck, but, like, what the actual fuck? At the end of the day, these men know what they are signing up for. Not everything online can be real, but I try and make this as real as possible for them. She's basically tricking these men into thinking that they have a relationship with her, and obviously, like, we know that they don't, but... She's essentially exploiting men uh, and kind of just using them for money, which uh, is the entire business practice of OnlyFans, but uh, but yeah, she's just a really shitty human being and like there are better women out there that you should honestly go out for, but you choose her, which I mean, bro, you do you. Being stupid in 2024 is perfectly okay, alright? Slay. But, like, don't expect me to accept that shit like it's normal. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video today, uh, please smash that like button. All right. Daily uploads, all right, are sticking through. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will catch you guys soon. Uh, see you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah, uh, peace.